Good morning. My happy hour back. Here's the plan. It is officially a public holiday. So it may be that we don't have the biggest crew. The burning question of the day is, will the pool crew be back? If they're not, there might not be too much to show you, given the size of the crew. But we'll show you what there is. What could possibly go wrong? It's Monday morning. The crew is gathering. It looks like it might be a pretty small group today, but it is a public holiday. Although officially for these guys, it's not a holiday. We'll see how many we get. And I don't know whether the holiday means we won't have the swimming pool guys. They typically don't come until a little later. We'll wait and see. That's the usual Monday morning uh, procedures. So we'll have a prayer and then we'll have exercise. Sorry, then a briefing, then exercise. Oh, skip the prayer today. One, two, five, six, good start. Yeah. Only eleven at the moment. Well, they're making more noise today. And there we go. Oh, there was some energy to that, despite the low numbers. We'll start here, slightly unusually, at the fish pond. We had it dug out a bit more. So on Sunday, we had the Bob Elephant came back and dug out an extra couple of feet, probably, uh, to just try and create a little bit more space and maybe get us a little closer to the water table so we can retain a bit more water. It won't make much difference, but uh, it was worth a try. One thing it does show, I think, is that the soil that they dug out, even the soil that was fairly close to the edge and pretty deep down, has very little life in it. So it, it's useless for growing things, most things. We will need to think about how else we can enrich soil where we're going to be hoping to grow plants and vegetables. We have an answer. The pool crew at 7.02 are back. Ben and Jay, the two lead guys. We do have two different labourers to help them this time. But the important thing is, we've got tiles, we've got a crew. We're off and running. Here we have the Marvin, the singing Marvin crew, working on the perimeter wall with the barbed wire. Apologies, uh, after this morning's early couple of clips, I had things to do, so we've missed everything this morning. It's now just after lunch. 
only two fellas working here uh, because of the smaller crew size today. So they switched and they've gone to what we previously referred to as the bit around the corner, working on the barbed wire here instead of where they were previously over on the north perimeter wall. Right, here we are at the patio. And as I mentioned on Saturday, the plan changed. They've gone with soffits for all of this patio area. I don't think they'll be doing the same inside the sunroom. But they've made a lot of progress in one morning. And there are only two guys, just uh, Owen and Oliver. That's a lot of work done already. More apologies. On Saturday, I said I was going to talk a little bit more about the solar uh, setup that we're going to have, and that was the clip that got corrupted. So I think it's probably better now to wait until they come, and I'll discuss it then. Uh, we've had to put them back by one day, so they'll now be in on Wednesday. Today's Monday. Uh, and their estimate is four to five days for everything. One very brief thing, I'll tell you the very, very basic outline. It will be grid tie, so that will give us the backup of having uh, grid electricity if we need it. There will be a generator if everything else fails, and we will have batteries. So that's the very basic outline, much more to come on Wednesday. No real surprise given the small crew size, uh, but they have not returned to finish off this last corner of the gas station uh, ceiling. There's actually no platform for them to stand on right now. There's the frame, but nothing to actually stand on. So I'm sure that will come soon. The skin coat. Uh, they haven't extended higher on this area over the stairs. Instead of that, Ronell has switched down here to the living room. I honestly can't remember whether any of this was done before, but we're working on this area between the stairs and the living room. We've also got most of the front, the east facing wall done. And all, sorry I'm a bit close to it, of this south facing wall, all done. Plus, a little bit most of the area going into the home theatre room. I can't believe he's done all that today. Some of that he must have done before. Or did he? Richard's continuing to work on the ceiling over the stairs. Looking good. We'll soon have the basic ceiling in all the way from this end of the house, except right where I'm standing between the master bedroom and the walk-in closet, all the way down to the far end. Bad news for me, the uh, platform has been extended all the way across again, but a little higher than they had it before, so not too bad. This is the bedroom at the back of the house in the middle, where we've got the Aisha crew of Donald and the original Rico. Loads more of the ceiling panels, the gypsum board, been put in here. I imagine that this is what most people are looking for an update on, myself included. So Glenn and Jay and their two guys have already got to work putting the tiles on the floor. They had, if you remember, if you watched previously, they had already put the waterproofing materials down, both the Boyson and then the Sahara mixed in with the cement. So now it's just a matter of attaching the tiles. And they've already done a, a reasonable amount down at the deep end. At the moment, they're just putting in the whole tiles. They're not going around the outside edge with all the fiddly bits, but I've, that's the same pattern I've seen on other builds with all kinds of tiling. The fiddly bits typically left till last. With regards to timing for all of this, Jay, one of the two lead guys here, this morning said they would do the tiles within a week. So there's that to do, and then there's various other parts like the plumbing, the sorry, the pumps, the water filters, the bridge rails, and several other bits. The builder 
has told me he's off to buy all of the other required components this week. Hopefully, delays won't happen because we're waiting for any parts, but you never know. But we may be now get a relatively free run at getting this pool finished. Mapali, huh? Mapali. Mapali, ne? Mapali. <laughs> yeah, it's Mapali. <laughs> the bell has gone. 4.30. And for the very first time in 196 build days, I was wrong. They did come back and put in that last piece of soffit. So the ceiling is basically done to this point. There is more still to do. I think over here, where the light fittings will be, there's something else to come. But it's done. And by the way, anybody that dares to disagree that this is the first time I've been wrong, put it in the comment. Go on. No, don't bother. Okay, it's not my first time. Before we cover all the other bits of ceiling work that's been going on today, the one-man skin coat team of Ronel got all this wall done by the stairs and started on the entrance here, or the uh, wall between the entrance and the living room, finished off virtually everything around the steps to add to what he did already. This room is pretty much done with its first skim coat layer. The ceiling over the patio also has all of the soffits in place, all the way across. We'll whiz around the upstairs ceilings and this is the area over the stairs. Most of this has the gypsum board in. One square got cut out. I don't know what that's for. I'll have to ask tomorrow. The master bedroom will have effectively three levels. Lowest on the outside, then a relatively narrow central part until we get right into the middle, the highest part of the ceiling. This is the bedroom at the back of the house in the middle. Slightly different. One level coming in the bedroom door until you get to these two cutout areas, one on either side. Bedroom at the front of the house in the middle. Basically the same layout as the master bedroom. Three different levels. Looking good. This is the bedroom at the back of the house on the north side. I don't think this got any attention, but just to highlight this bedroom and in fact the other one opposite it at the front of the house, both again have the kind of three levels of ceiling. It is the end of the day. And as much as I might kind of try and dress it up a bit, this is really the bit that I wanted to see. So we've got oh, a third, a third-ish, of the deep area of the pool done with tiles. We'll see if they can hit their target of finishing this this week before they move on to all the other finishing of the pool itself. So we're really, hopefully, not too far away from getting all of this done and then maybe getting some cleaner water in than we had last time. Day's done, see you tomorrow. Okay, day's not done. The Bob Elephant is back. I guess he's doing a bit more digging at the pool. I didn't know he was coming. This is all under the control of my sour. More dirt to be dug. Definitely now. See you tomorrow.